I'm here to give you a quick overview of how Cloudera utilizes the power of Ozone in the Cloudera data platform. The vast majority of our customers that have deployed CDP on-premises are currently using HDFS. With the changing and expanding usage models, HDFS has some challenges when it comes to these higher demanding workloads. Here's a list of current capabilities that are also its limitations for HDFS. Storage density is 100 terabytes per node and scalable to 400 million objects. HDFS startup times vary based on the overall size of the cluster. There is an active standby for high availability requirements and HDFS supports the Hadoop file system API. When comparing Ozone to HDFS, we see several tremendous improvements. Ozone can support over 600 terabytes per node, 10 billion objects, and has a much quicker startup time for the cluster. One more thing to note is the support for the S3 API, which allows your applications to work exactly the same no matter where your data is based, on-prem or in the cloud. Ozone reduces the number of name nodes and services and condenses them into a storage container manager. Let's look at some of the value propositions of using Ozone as your data store. Data warehousing applications optimized for HDFS, as well as Hive and Impala exhibit similar or better performance on the same hardware profile with Ozone for the TPC-DS benchmark. Ozone is at performance parity with HDFS for petabyte scale big data workloads. Nothing else comes close. Scaling storage and metadata means more with less. There are fewer server nodes to manage, maintain, or upgrade means less administrative overhead and potential lower hardware cost. For the same amount of data, there is a lower cost per terabyte that provides significant cost savings. As you can see here, Ozone fits right into the existing data infrastructure without any major changes while reaping the benefits of scalability. The same compute engines can be used with both storage solutions, which means no large changes needed for your existing workloads. Ozone is designed to scale linearly to expand storage capacity. What that means is that you don't have to schedule long downtimes for your users to restart the whole cluster to expand storage capacity. Ozone reduces the number of name nodes and services and condenses them into the storage container manager. When considering whether Ozone is the right fit for your company, view it from several different angles. You can look at it from the perspective of lower TCO or reducing the carbon footprint of your data center. Other things to consider are how much data is increasing and at what rate, and if you have enough hardware to cover that growth. Let's take a look at some of Ozone's critical capabilities. API compatibility, ease of use, scalability, storage density, and reduced total cost of ownership. We'll take a look at each of these capabilities in the following section. Customer number one has a requirement for a truly scalable hybrid solution with data residing both on-prem and in the cloud. Since their ingestion processes use Spark, NiFi, and Kafka that are built for HDFS, they use the API compatibility with Ozone to be able to store their data locally or cloud-based. All of the existing applications do not need to be changed other than to point to the correct data source. This feature also gives their data scientists the ability to use newer BI tools such as TensorFlow or PySpark without major changes to the existing workflows. Ozone also allows you to replicate the data out of the data lake to a separate S3 data store to help access management. Customer number two requires that their solution is easy to use and maintain. With Ozone, restart times are much quicker, which turns into less cluster downtime. Ozone also provides out-of-the-box support for DW, DE, and ML applications with little to no JVM fine-tuning. There is no special certification required to onboard a new data product, either on-prem or in the cloud, and all of the security and governance over all clusters is handled with SDX. Customer 3 requires scalability due to their data size explosion. HDFS has well-known scale limitations. The number of files and file system objects are limited by the physical memory. 400 million is the absolute maximum. Customers operating at this scale experience an occasional nightmare of storage support since there are simply not enough physical machines. Ozone overcomes another operational headache of loading the entire file system image and accounting for all the blocks on a restart. Ozone is an object-based storage system which requires far less time to restart. Customer 4 is looking for a higher storage density. 
Ozone supports 600 terabyte data nodes as opposed to the 100 terabyte node with HDFS. When dealing with a cluster that has many small files in the 10 to 100 megabyte range, HDFS starts to see performance issues that Ozone does not have. Ozone has added several critical capabilities to the overall on-prem Cloudera data platform. With expanded scalability and lower total cost of ownership, the Ozone file system integration will ensure your overall system capability and lifespan.